Oh, they jumping and she's gotten so warm that uh, all the uh, <laughs> all the snow's falling off everything. We started with a bit of snow as you see maybe late last night in the video there and uh, and she turned to rain and then a bunch of snow again and then a bunch of rain so there's a awful sloppy mess all over everything but it's actually started to melt the roof off and tore off half my eaves trough. That's nice. Well at least where I stapled her on there or nailed her on with the the screws she's held on but it's just bent to crap at everything else. Oh well I should be able to bend that back up but what a mess anyways. So how's she going today, tubes? Well, yeah, windy as crap out today too, and uh, sort of mildy-ish, but uh, she's not turning into a super nice day today, which kind of sucks, so uh, all dependent on the weather is going to make uh, how much I'm going to be able to film for you out here, but uh, anyhow, uh, I do want to uh, take those two hoses off. the. Um, heater core hoses, heater hoses, and uh, maybe give them another blast out while I got her, you know, somewhat sort of drained out. It's not too bad. I had to look at my other video of how I did it before because, pardon me, I couldn't remember which line was which, but it ended up uh, reverse flowing the, uh, this line here. I just put in the uh, bucket, and this one I had to uh, pinch off this the big filler hose and then uh, blew through this one and then it blew a bunch of crap out into the bucket so but uh, anyhow uh, what I'll probably do is uh, it's not too bad of weather right now I'll maybe do that first get these uh, clamps off of here they should come off hopefully fairly good still and uh, we'll do that all right so we got our pail in the dewy there we got the line here we got a rock I'm just going to uh, try to pinch this one off here I think this dewey in. Let's more crap come out again. It'd be nice to actually flush it, but I don't have any... Whoa! I don't have any uh, water on right now, so... I'm kibosh for that, but anyway. Okay, that should do that. Oh yeah, there was a bit more junk come out. We'll let that settle a bit. That's definitely going to be uh, making the, uh, the heat slow down a bit. So, like I said, it would have been nice to flush that, but I'm going to have to, I guess, bust her open again in the summer when I got a hose going. Because right now I don't have a hose going, <laughs> which sucks. But uh, anyways, we'll maybe let these drip out a little more here first. Uh, where'd the other hose go? I'm probably looking right at it. Uh, oh yeah. All right, so I'll get those on and uh, we'll get the thermostat. Ugh. And uh, throw that on, get that hose on. And uh, so we mix up some orange juice. Pour, start pouring it in again. All right, so there's a little bit more of the crud we got out. Cruddy bits, that'll be blocking up some of the passages and stuff in the heater core, so hopefully that'll boost up the heat heat again. So we got to clean the bucket out again. And uh, mix up some more uh, orange juice here, and uh, we can slowly start pouring her back in, and hopefully all the bubbles come back out. That'd be nice. All right, so we'll open up a brand new jug of this thicker concentrated orange juice and of course it's got the sealed for your protection and this will dump one hole on the these in oh it's like thick like jello-y almost oh don't splash on me Ugh. One whole jug of this. Oh, 
one whole jug of that and it's got the little measure and dewey on there so if you look at this one roughly if you can get her somewhat level it's I don't know it's hard to say but levels about there so I'll fill that back up to there roughly with some straight distilled water and uh, use this as your measuring jug again right that one's good another dead soldier and get this one going and this stuff you could drink if you really wanted to now it's pretty much this whole jug but it's better to measure it and be positively sure that you've put the uh, right mixtures together Now, if you measure this together, look at these together. Now, you couldn't, of course, done that if you didn't have like another full jug, but luckily I do. So, uh, we're down about half an inch or so, but I'm going to leave her at that. That'll definitely guarantee me that it's going to be the uh, minus minus 37. So we're probably about minus 39 or 40, maybe, with it like this. So. Another dead soldier. Okay, let's put a cap back in the rest of the water. And we got all the hoses on, like I said, out there. Everything's good to go. So we'll pour a bit of this into here. Slowly. Orange Dex Cool. Let's start with that. All right, let's get her out. We gotta fill up the uh, overflow and then it starts to fill everything else up, hopefully. All right, I probably really should have taken off the, the, the tank here and cleaned it out too, but uh, I thought, eh, what the heck. Ooh. So this will fill up and bubble and gurgle for quite a while. Then sort of when it stopped, you don't notice any more gurgling or bubbling. What we'll do then is uh, start it up and let it run a bit because it hadn't filled the probably won't, well, it won't fill the heater core until you run it. And that'll kind of cycle it and suck some out of that big hose, that one that we just had off. It'll suck it through there. And uh, start recirculating it. Anything else dripping more than it should be, so that's good. Here's that jug in. That was almost probably four liters, anyways. I see the levels come up, but it'll be. Uh, gurgling a bit and sometimes you can uh, there's nothing in the top rat holes of course here right so it's gonna need some more yet but um, you basically got to try to get the level higher than what you're trying to fill to or it's just gonna fill to that and then that's it right so we gotta I gotta get lots more yet so stay tuned we'll be back with jug two all right there's another three and a half liters or three and a half liters We'll say almost a gallon. Now I know somewhere on this engine, or these engines, there's supposed to be one of those bleeder valves. I can't find her. So if it's under a stupid cover or something, I don't know. 
I can't seem to locate it. I was actually thinking I could probably pop out that uh, temperature sensor uh, thing on the far side there that would bleed a bit of air to that side perhaps all right we got her pretty much filled to the top there you hear it kind of gurgling now you stay there Let's see if I can get you over here while she's doing a bit of gurgling here you see where the level normally sits see there's some gurgling yeah so basically you got to get your level which is higher than your rad because the rads starts about here so you know you can sort of see where the level kind of was right before so that's uh you got to get her higher and then it'll gravity or earth pressure thing will push it down and blow the bubbles out hopefully that's the idea so it almost looks like I need to add some more into that now fill it right to the top let her gurgle a bit so the uh, thing I was talking about the temperature sensor remember we changed it, it was over here uh, it's underneath all this crap here somewhere right down in there could probably pop that out and get some out but I think I'll just do her this way like I did last time because it's gurgling again there so you squeeze some of your hoses it sometimes will help yeah, fill her up again. Now the heater core hasn't filled yet, of course, because it's, well, it shouldn't have technically, no. But uh, what we've got to do is, uh, after it sits here for a gurgle for a little bit, we'll, uh, we'll have to fire it up. Gurgle. Ooh. There's some nice gurgling. Sometimes you can shake her a bit too and it'll unlodge bubbles and stuff, but uh, we'll let her sit for a bit. I'll keep topping her up. And uh, actually we could probably put the uh, all this crap back together now. This crap. Stupid thing. Get on there. Huh. I guess that's it. Doesn't seem right, but... I get my screwdriver. These ones you need a screwdriver for. Some of them just have clips, right? So, looks like there was a clip thing there at one time. It's gone. But anyways, uh, looks like we need to fill her again. You can see where the level's sitting at now. So, okay, I'll get buttoning things back up here, and then uh, we'll fire it up. All right. So uh, most of the gurgling has seemed to stop. Oh, we better plug that in, or she won't start at all. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. I got all the hoses on. Everything's good. Everything's tight. Everything should be good. So we're going to start her up, let her run. I got the uh, little computer dewy th Ooh. little computer computer dewy thing set up here to measure the uh, engine temperature if I don't knock the plug off. And uh, we're showing two degrees here, and imagine that two degrees in the engine. So, anyways, it's fired up. And we won't be getting any uh, hot air coming out yet, of course, but um, we'll just let this sit here and run at RPMs, uh, engine temperature, and the mass airflow sensor. MAF. That's how many whatever's a minute it's sucking through there. Oh, well, we got another degree. Now I know sometimes you got to rev them up a little bit to, uh, oh another degree, to uh, get them to fill into the uh, heater core again there. I'm going to just turn it to here and then put this down and I can feel when it's starting to get warmer. And our gauge there is right flat to the bottom. So okay. So we'll just put this up in there so I can access that from here. Oh, 12 degrees already. She's warming up, boys. So let's just check level here. We might have to run her a bit higher to uh, 
Oh yeah, she sucked her down now. Oh boy. <laughs> Better get that filled up again. Be sucking air all over the place. Hopefully nothing's leaking. I doubt it is, but... She's sucking her down pretty good. It's not really refilling itself yet, so... Let's head four, five, six, seven and a half, and whatever I'm putting here, liters back in her. So, she's thirsty. I'll just top her right up here again. I should give her lots of, wow. Apparently it's really thirsty. If I hadn't done the heater core there, it wouldn't have been so bad, but anyhow, I uh, should soon be able to feel, I think it's this one that's the warm one, but I'll give her a little, That's good, it's got some in her anyways. See she's bubbling good again there, so. She should have some cooling through her now, I would say. Anyways, I'll just jump inside for a minute and uh, I don't know if I can. What temp are we at? We're at 30 degrees now. That roof is like just about ready to explode off of here, I think. <laughs> is that ever a noise when you're inside there and it does that, holy. Okay. Yeah, I can feel the heat coming already. That's good. It's a lot faster than it was before, so that's... Whoa, Nelly! That's a good sign. I think they said you had to rev it up to like 2,000 degree or something. 2,000 degrees. 2,000 RPM. <laughs> so what are we at shown here? 2,000 RPM, yeah. So that's not too bad. I could, I guess, get my early Canadian... Uh, or the Canadian, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, cruise control on the thing here, and that would probably do it for me, but uh, I'll just sit here and let her warm a bit. I want to see what uh, she's going to get to here. 35 degrees already, 36. It's definitely warming up. Well, of course, you don't normally run your car like this in the morning, but she's definitely warming up faster than it did before. It's a rev limiter on this. Apparently not. Okay, let's go check the level again. And our temp is now 41, 42. So the temperature of the uh, engine temperature thing is saying. All right, it's actually, oh, it's still gurgling a little bit there. Still up pretty good though, so I'll just let her sit like that for a minute or so. Feel the dewies here. Yeah, there's some warmth coming there, so that's good. That's good. I'll just sit in here for a little bit more and let her warm right up, and then uh, we'll maybe have to go for a little spin somewhere too. 46 now. I'm hopeful in this will. Well, what did they say? 86 on the thermostat. So that number should start leveling off itself at about 86. Is the idea, anyways. The idea. A bit of heat coming though, that's good. Except for my window if I get even more. Well, anyways, I'll let her sit here for a few minutes. I'll check back in with you in a few here and uh, see where we're sitting at. All right, so we've been running here for a wee little bit. Uh, I wasn't really keeping track of the time, but uh, we're at 66 now, just kind of sitting here running. So I guess that's not super too bad. 
Although I might have would have thought it might have been a little faster than that, but once you get driving a little bit, it should start to uh, do its dewy a little better. So I also brought my, uh, we're gonna actually go for a little drive. I brought two jugs. I got uh, two jugs of stuff, well a jug and about three quarter of uh, stuff that I had uh, extra mixed up kind of thing. In the back, just in case. I don't think we're going to need it, but uh, it seemed to pretty well level us all out there. And uh, we're going to head her up to Barrie for a little tour, something to eat maybe. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> and um, I also brought my little temp gun too, so I can temp things and see if it's sort of accurately reading what it's saying here kind of thing on, on hoses and stuff and that, that uh, housing once she uh, once that thermostat actually opens. Technically right now it should still be cold, which actually I should check. Because um, if it hasn't opened, it won't let that hot stuff come through and... Uh, uh, won't let it come through and uh, windy. And uh, start uh, cooling through the rad, so technically everything there should be still cold. Or cold-ish. Um, this one should be cold. Oh, it's warm. Actually, I can't remember which way they work now. I think it goes actually the other way. If I can get to her. <laughs> yeah, it's a little warm there, but it's not super, super warm, no. It's actually the colder, it's getting down into the rad here, so yeah, it hasn't even opened the, the, the thing yet, so. Anyways, we'll let her sit and run a few, and then we'll hit her for a drive. All right, tearing along here, I'm trying to hold her still. We've got 90 degrees Celsius now, so that's quite a bit warmer than 74 what it was the other day. And it's actually, ooh, staying on my side of the road. It's actually showing quite a bit higher here, although I'd rather like to see it up around the 100 more, but uh, she may be climbing a bit more yet. I don't know, we'll see. But it um, took uh, quite a while to get her up to there, though, but. Uh, it is only, well, three degrees out here, so it's not super warm, but on a hot day, it would probably be a lot faster, of course, but anyhow, uh, we're still touring. All right, we made her, and we've got a total of 91 degrees, so that's a little better than 74, I'd say, and it doesn't look like it's really moved much on that dewy, but uh, it's a lot better than it was, because it was to uh, the second middle big tick there, so we got a little more out of it anyways, but another 15-odd, so-odd degrees, whatever, but... Anyways, uh, we're here, we're gonna grab some lunch and then uh, maybe head over to a fish store. Well, we made her home. Uh, pretty boring on the way home. Wasn't really anything worth filming, so we didn't bother filming anything. But it uh, looks like we're gonna finish up around the 91 degrees. And uh, it's a little better on the, the dewy there, but not, you know, that's about probably right. So anyhow, that's not too bad. Just looking back here, we came in and uh, Couple of turkeys way up in the tree here. I don't know what they're doing, but they're trying to fight the wind currents. She's a pretty blowy place to be sitting. <laughs> so there's probably a couple more on the ground, maybe, or something. But uh, I don't know why these two are up in the tree, but maybe something scared them up there. I don't know. But anywho, I'm going to call her a day. Oh man, I don't know all that driving. <laughs> it makes me really tired, but. Anyways, the uh, the heater seems to be working really good on this now. Man, it was like cooking our faces right off, so I guess that's a good thing. A couple more chunks blew out of the thing there, so hopefully there's no more chunks around anywhere that are going to make a big mess and uh, not uh, want to heat us up again. But uh, whew, got her turned pretty much pretty much right down, and it's still pretty warm, so that's, that's good. That's good. But um, anyways, uh, I'm going to head her out. Uh, you guys have a good weekend and stuff. Farm some Saturday tomorrow. She's a pretty good one. Uh, we started up the old family farm again. I kind of like that map, so it's not a super huge, long, huge map, you know, or uh, super huge fields, but, you know, you got to get all this huge machinery in it to uh, to uh, be able to farm it, whereas, you know, this one's kind of smaller, a little more smaller scale, and uh, still have fun doing it. So, but anyways, enjoy that tomorrow. We'll uh, talk to you as Monday. I don't know what we're doing Monday. Might address our light lighting issue in the back garage. I don't know. We'll see, and uh, maybe try to resurrect that next, and uh, go from there. We'll maybe get some eight-footer thingies or something. See how much they're. Anyways, they're probably not cheap. So, get some eight-foot. Uh, just watching these turkeys up here. Getting some eight-foot uh, 
those uh, fluorescent strippy light things and some of those daylight deluxe bulbs and uh, go from there. But anyways, uh, you guys have a good weekend. Thanks for watching today and we'll catch you on Monday. Enjoy Farm Sim Saturday tomorrow. Man, this is uh, just doing a little extra here for you. This has got really blowy windy out here. And of course, as soon as I turn the camera on, it goes away. <laughs> oh, it's not always away. Pretty much blow enough that them turkeys thought, yep, that's enough of this crap. We're out of here. So they land went down on the ground. But man, they said it was supposed to get kind of windy today. But uh, who we? What were they saying? What are they saying for. Fur, 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 fur wind today. What were they saying for wind? I just keep you as pointing out here, looking at the dirty window and the wind. But, uh, oh, and the sun too, holy. What were they saying? Afternoon, wind speeds of 40 kilometers an hour. Come on. Same tonight, overnight, same. I don't think they know what they're talking about. I don't know. It seems a lot windier than that, though. Good day for a windmill. Wind generator mill thingy. But holy. Oh, that comes a good one. Woo, blowing snow and everything. It's a good thing all the snow's, like, glued down with the rain from last night, because it would be a pretty nasty day. And they actually called buses today. I couldn't believe it. I mean, really? Holy... I don't know. Whatever. Have a good weekend. We'll talk to you Monday.